Now to some breaking news from space. Just minutes ago, the members of NASA and SpaceX's Crew 7 mission successfully landed back here on Earth with a splashdown in the Gulf. Yeah, it marks the end of a nearly six-month mission on board the International Space Station. News 6's Mark Lehman joins us live from the newsroom. You've been keeping an eye on all this action. What's happening now? Yeah, teams have been sailing out and checking for hazards around Crew 7 as they're now back home. We've been watching it all unfold from the feeds here behind me. It's a big moment for NASA and SpaceX, as well as the four members who are back on Earth for the first time since August. Take a look. These are live pictures from inside the Dragon spacecraft as it's floating in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Pensacola. That location was chosen because of good weather conditions. Now, I want to take you back to just about 15 minutes ago. This was the view as Crew 7 returned to Earth after about an 18-hour trip from the International Space Station. The parachutes deploying, and a couple minutes later, the capsule made a nice and easy splashdown. The four members spent about six months in orbit. Crew 7 launched back in August from Kennedy Space Center. While on board the space station, they worked on scientific research to prepare for human exploration beyond Earth orbit. Crew 7 speaking, about, uh, speaking during a farewell ceremony yesterday. This has been an adventure of a lifetime. Uh, we have achieved so many diverse uh, things up here from science to technology development uh, to even a spacewalk, various visiting vehicles. Um, it's been a, a, an, incredibly, uh, an incredible success. The astronauts saying they're grateful to everyone who supported them along the way. They also say it's a bittersweet moment, happy to be back home, but missing their time on board the ISS. Now, as for what's next, a recovery ship will bring the spacecraft on board, and then the four astronauts will uh, emerge probably about 45 minutes from now, be checked out by medical teams. We're continuing to monitor the situation here. We'll keep you updated throughout the morning. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6. I know their friends and family are excited to see them again. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. Today's homecoming comes just hours after NASA laid out its plans for the future in the agency's annual address. Administrator Bill Nelson says they are moving ahead with deep space exploration despite steep funding cuts. The U.S. House slashed billions out of NASA's budget as part of a spending package to keep the government from shutting down. The space agency will now get $24.9 billion, more than $2 billion fewer than they asked for. A third of that money will go to deep space exploration like the Artemis program.